Your governor, Kemp, and Raffensperger are doing everything possible to make 2024 difficult for Republicans to win. They're, what are they doing? I don't know. They got something in mind, you know. They got a little something in mind. Kemp is very bad for the Republican Party. He's the most disloyal guy I think I've ever seen. But think of the wife. We can never repay you for what you've done, sir. We could have never won. And now she said two weeks ago that uh, I will not endorse him because he hasn't earned my end. I haven't earned her endorsement. I have nothing to do with her. Somewhere he went bad. And you know what? Your numbers in Georgia are very average. Your crime numbers, your economic numbers, all of your numbers, you're a very average. You can do a lot better, and you'll do a lot better with a better governor. I got this guy nominated. I then got him elected. Without me, he doesn't get nominated, and he doesn't get elected. He had no chance of winning either one, and all he had to do is sign something where the Senate would like to look at election integrity. This is an honest man. That's an honest man. They were all honest. They were looking at something very legitimate. And this bad guy said, I'm sorry, sir. I can't do it. I called him and I said, Brian, they're looking at election integrity. Is there anything you can do? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I can't get involved in that. I said, but Brian, you don't understand. This is a good thing, not a bad thing. I'm sorry, sir. I can't get involved. I've had you up to here, Brian. I've had you up to here.